Hello, here's my sample order lines data set. Let me start by looking at sales across order months. I have data for four years starting from 2013 to 2016. Let me right click and add a forecast to my VIS. So that is the forecast of my sales. There are three models available, Seasonal ARIMA, ARIMA and now ETS. You can pick the appropriate model depending on the nature of your data set. Let's pick ETS and that's how the forecast values look. Let's increase the number of periods to say 6. You now have forecast values from January to June. Let's remove the forecast added with the right click option and instead create it as a calculation. While the right click forecast option adds it to just that visualization, when you create it as a calculation, you can apply it across multiple visualizations. Let's search for forecast and add it. Let's choose sales as the metric, order month as the dimension. Let's choose forecast as the output column. And in the options, let's specify model type as ETS and number of periods as 6. Let's validate, call it forecast sales and save it. Let's now add this calculation to the visualization. Because it is a separate calculation, it appears in a different color. And these are my forecasted values. Let's create another calculation uh, to forecast profit values. So I reuse the same syntax and change sales to profit. Call it forecast profit. Let me bring in this calculation to the visualization. Let me plot this on the Y2 axis. So these are the forecasted profit values. So that's another difference between adding forecast with a right click option, in which case you need the metric to be part of the visualization, as opposed to having it as a calculation wherein you can just bring in the forecast values. Thanks for watching this video.